China has started looking into creating a high-speed flying train that could reach speeds of 4,000 km per hour, according to state-run space contractors. The flying train is a passenger pod that travels through a vacuum tube using magnetic levitation, similar to Elon Musk's Hyperloop, which is looking to reach speeds of 1,200 km per hour if the project goes through as planned. This super train could move at four times the speed of commercial flights and three times the speed of sound. The China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation owns more than 200 patents for the project, writes Quartz. CASIC claims their tube system will be the first design for supersonic speeds, although their first aim to at more modest speeds of 1,000 km per hour. The contractors announced they would be transporting the flying train to 60 or so countries across Asia, the Middle East, Europe and Africa. They gave no timeline along with their announcement. The flying train will also be 10 times faster than the world's fastest bullet train, which is also in China. Chief designer Mao Kai dismissed concerns about tickets being too expensive for normal people. Earlier this month Hyperloop 1 completed the first successful test of the passenger pod for its radical transport system, marking what the firm says is the debut of the dawn of a new era of transportation. The Hyperloop 1 XP1. The company Japanese first-generation pod accelerated for 300 meters and glided above the track using magnetic levitation before braking and coming to a gradual stop. The July 29, 2017 tests hit record test speeds traveling nearly the full distance of the 500-meter dev loop track in the Nevada desert. This is the beginning and the dawn of a new era of transportation, said Shervin Peshever, executive chairman and company founder of Hyperloop One. We've reached historic speeds of 310 km an hour and we're excited to finally show the world the XP1 going into the Hyperloop 1 tube. When you hear the sound of the Hyperloop 1, you hear the sound of the future. During Phase 2 on July 29, Hyperloop 1 achieved record speeds in a tube to pressurize down to the equivalent of air at 200,000 feet above sea level. All components of the system were successfully tested including the highly efficient electric motor and advanced controls and power electronics, custom magnetic levitation and guidance, pod suspension and vacuum system. With Hyperloop 1, passengers and cargo are loaded into a pod and accelerate gradually via electric propulsion through a low-pressure tube. Last week China reclaimed the crown for having the world's fastest train. A new generation of trains would make it the 1,250-kilometer journey from the capital to Shanghai in just four hours. 30 minutes from next month, authorities said. The latest trains were unveiled in June and have a top speed of 400 km per hour. According to the official Xinhua News Agency, China first ran trains at that speed in August 2008. However, it cut speeds back to 250 to 300 km per hour in 2011 following a two-train collision near the city of Wenzhou that killed 40 people and injured 191. China has laid more than 20,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, with a target of adding another 10,000 kilometers by 2020. China has spent an estimated $360 billion on high-speed rail, building by far the largest network in the world. Zhao Jian, Beijing Jiaotong University professor and a leading researcher on China's high-speed railway network, told the South China Morning Post that in order to avoid more accidents at higher speeds, the railway operator will need to reduce the number of trains in use at one time. The line is also one of the most profitable in China. China Railway has not released financial data for specific lines, but a bond issuance prospectus last year said the corporate entity running the line made a profit of 6.6 billion yuan in 2015, or about 1 billion US dollars.